everybody, today's video is going to be a Will I Buy It based completely on holiday 2018 palettes. So what I did is I went on Trend Mood, and some of these videos aren't the best um, because they're not necessarily like, like stock photos. They're photos that she took of products herself, um, and like some of the glares are a little weird. But, you know, like I said, they're all from Trend Mood um, on Instagram, and I just uh, want to talk about what palettes I want to buy and what palettes I think I'm going to skip over. Now, I do a series called um, Why I'm Not Going to Buy It, and that's where I really go in depth, like shadow by shadow, or not necessarily every single shadow, but where I compare it to things I already own and stuff like that. So if you want to see that on any of these palettes, I can go ahead and do that. I only talk, I'm only talking about palettes in today's video just because palettes are my favorite thing. I like they're a big thing at the holidays. Um, if there are other things that you're interested in seeing my opinion about, you can go ahead and leave those below. Or if you'd like to see like more of these videos, I have done them in the past. They're completely, sorry, this hair is a little strange. Um, they're completely inspired by Samantha March. And so yeah, I just want to go ahead and talk about some palettes. How many do I have? A few. So first, we have, I don't know the names of all of these, I'm sorry. Um, the new Too Faced Holiday Palette, the one with the swans. Um, so you have like, I think it's what, three, one, two, so 24 shadows, two blushes of bronzer, and a highlight. Now the bronzer, I did notice, is called Christmas Roasting. No, Chestnuts Roasting, that's what it's called. So it's actually not Chocolate Soleil. The packaging of this is fine. I've seen a couple of reviews of this, and it, people are just kind of like, it's, it's fine. Um... As you probably know, with most companies, like the holiday palettes can be a little bit repetitive. I haven't played with any of these in store yet or seen them in store. So my opinions might change. I might end up doing stuff. You just never really know. But this doesn't scream to me. Now, I will say that I'm a sucker for packaging. I'm a sucker for names and stuff. Because let's be honest, I have so many things that it kind of gets to the point where it's like, hmm. This might be um, like a unique shade to my collection, but this packaging is really cool or these names are cool. Um, and I feel like if I really only went by what I have shades of, I'd never buy anything, which wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, but also not super realistic. So I do like the naming scheme. They're really cute. I know some people are um, don't like it. There's a name called Here for the Hose. Like, ho, 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 people are not a big fan of that. I understand that. I'm not personally offended, but I get it. But anyway, um, this palette looks cool, I, but I don't think I'm going to buy it. I'm not, like, super excited about it. Next, we have these MAC Cheek palettes. Now, the outer pack, so they have a lighter and a darker. Big fan of that um, because, you know, I feel like this bronzer on the darker, I'm not sure if it's going to be dark enough for some people. I'm going to be honest. But it makes sense to have a lighter and a darker because there are people of different skin tones. I hate the packaging. Like the outside packaging of this looks really, really cheap to me. But these products look interesting. And I just recently talked about loving this um, Nutcracker Sweet Cheek Duo that I got two years ago. This was holiday 2016. Yes. 2016. I love this. So... I don't know. If it's similar quality, I am tempted by it because... This blush, bronzer, and highlight, I would obviously get the lighter skin tone. They all work for my skin, so I am intrigued by it. Um, so I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence with that. But I don't know how unique it is. I'd have to play with it in store. I'm not like dying for it. So I'm kind of meh. Next we have the Urban Decay Naked Cherry. Now I did hear that they're getting rid of the original Naked Palette. Um, they came out with the Naked heat heat's the one that they just came out with that's all like red and stuff and it kind of got mixed reviews now i will say that i think it's kind of dumb that they're sticking with this naked theme i understand marketing wise naked is their big name but naked is nude palettes and naked one all nudes naked two cool tone nudes three was a little pinky and i was like oh is it really naked but they were still relatively neutral naked smoky smoky eyeshadow palette naked heat all like red and purples Naked Cherry, like not at all neutral, but whatever. That's just my personal, oh my gosh, I just lost it. Whoops. Sorry, that's just my personal opinion. Now the shades themselves, I think they look fine. Um, They're pinky. I like pink shadows. They're some of my favorites. I actually don't own any naked palettes, any of the five that they've ever came out with. Yeah, five, that is correct. Um, So I'm not like opposed to naked. I've just never been super inspired by it. And I don't think this is going to be the first one I'm going to buy. I don't know. It just doesn't like scream to me. 
maybe if I saw it in stores or something, but based on the pictures, I'm just kind of like, eh, whatever, that's fine. It, it just, it doesn't excite me. Next, we have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Every single year, Hourglass comes out with a palette um, similar to this. They used to come out with the trios, and now they've kind of done the six pan last year, or was it two years ago? They did like one double pan, but whatever. This is kind of their normal format. I've seen a picture of someone holding it. It like is the size of your hand. So they are definitely small. They're not a great deal as far as product, but they're a great deal as far as shades. Every picture I've seen of it, they seem super washed out. Um, usually they have a mix of the blushes and the bronzers and the highlight and then some of their original powders. This just seems really washed out and like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like I don't really see the differences. So maybe in, again in person or in some other photos, it would look cooler. But based on this picture, I'm, I'm not going to buy it. Even though, like I said, every year they come out with one and every year I want it. But that doesn't look exciting to me at all. Next, we have the Tarte Blush Book. They've come out with these um, quite a few years. And they were these giant ones. Like, they were like, like literally like this big. And so now they've got an actual book. And I think that's genius. Um, they also did the little circles. I don't have one. I can't find it. But I have the Amazonian clay one. But you know, like the little circles and it was a double pattern. Um, so they had like it on top. Instead of having a mirror, it was blushes and blushes. So I think that's cool. Um, I think that this is really cute packaging. Don't get me wrong. Now, is it holiday? I don't, I don't know. To me, it's more like back to school, but that's fine. Um, and I don't know. I feel like when you have tin blushes, like if you really look at it, one, like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So six of them, I feel like would be really similar. You got a highlight and you got a bronzer. That one's much deeper. That one's a little more like rosy, it looks. But I feel like these are really similar. And I feel like if you actually bought these, you'd end up with a bunch of the same. And I don't need 10 blushes where six of them look the exact same. I have plenty of blushes already. Um, so I understand this. I know that a lot of people love this formula, but for me, it just isn't worth the money. So no, I'm not going to buy that. Oh, sorry. Next, we have the Tarte Pineapple Palette. So they've come out with this like pineapple themed collection. People are really excited about it. I know like pineapples are trendy or something right now. I think that's correct. I don't understand the timing of this. You want to come out with this come springtime, come summer? I'm there for it. It's very cute and tropical. I, I don't feel like this is Christmas. Now, maybe it's like, you know, a tropical Christmas is what they were going for. I don't really know. But to me, pineapple is not Christmas. And like I said, I love a theme. Obviously, I'm wearing a Halloween shirt today and Halloween earrings. Like, I love holidays. I love a theme. I want the theme to be Christmas. I don't want it to be pineapple. So that, I mean, like I know a lot of people like it, and that's fine. It is definitely different. Um, but I just don't feel like it's Christmassy. Now, I have seen the packaging outside. It is like an actual pineapple, and I think that's really cool. I like the I like the idea of the packaging. I just don't like the season or the timing. Now, as far as the shades, um, it looks like a very typical Tarte palette. Uh, some of these shades are kind of speaking to me, like this green looks really cool, some of these pinks. So it does look interesting, but it also looks really neutral when you really look at it, and like it looks kind of repetitive. Now, I've seen people do reviews of this one as well, and they seem to like it, so that's awesome. I just don't know that I'm gonna buy it. I just, you know, like I said, I would like to play with it in store, but I think really, honestly, just the pineapple thing kind of turns me off of it. I just, I, I don't like that. Next, we have this huge, like, collection of things. Like I said, I'm sorry about that glare. Um, it reminds me of the Magic Star palette that they came out with last year that I did buy. Here it is, this is the Tarte Magic Star palette. And it kind of folded out. And you've got your shades and then two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlight. Um, so it is similar to that, in my opinion. Now, what they've done differently is if you look right here, part of it has, like, a room for that looks like a mascara, an eyeliner, and a lipstick. And that's actually built into the palette. Whereas last year, they included that. Sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable. Um, they included that, but it wasn't in the palette, so you're going to have a bunch of wasted space. This is probably going to be a very bulky palette. That Magic Star palette is quite bulky, but I do like it. 
but it's not my favorite. I don't feel like Tarte eyeshadows in general are my favorite formula. I feel like they're a lot softer and not quite as like impactful and pigmented, which is fine. That's what some people like. It's not what I like. So I don't, I don't think I'm going to buy it. Also, if you see this outer packaging, again, we've got a pineapple. I'm just not for that. This is, I'm assuming it's the Ulta Too Faced collection right here. It's called Christmas Dreams. They're doing a lot of bunny stuff and like animals. I'm cool with that. I like that. Um, again, you've got a bl two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlight. That blush looks like it's chock full of glitter. The eyeshadows are all neutral with a pop of, like, white, maybe. Like, like a silvery blue tone white. But everything else, completely neutral. Um, that doesn't excite me at all. Like, it just doesn't. I don't know. Um, I'm looking at the names, and I don't feel like, a lot of times they will reuse them. I haven't noticed, I don't know any of these names necessarily, but I'm just not, I don't know, that just doesn't sound exciting to me. Like, that doesn't look like something I'd want. Sorry, it just doesn't. Oh wait, oh wait, sorry, I just lost it. And I think I'm on the last, oh no, there's a couple more. Um, Urban Decay Elements Palette. This is very Zodiac themed. Everything recently has been Zodiac themed, which I guess is cool, that's what people are into. It's a lot of color and there's a white in the middle. It is to me reminiscent of the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. Now that one was uh, mattes and like baked shadows, so it's not the exact same, but it to me it's reminiscent at least. Um, it's about the size of your hand, you can see it there. And it looks fine, it's you know, a colorful palette. I really like Urban Decay eyeshadows, I really do. They're some of my favorite, but I have so many colorful palettes. Um, I can't see myself buying this, I can't see myself like, I'm, again, I'm just not super inspired by it. I'm just not. It's just kind of like, okay, some some colorful shades. I've got that. Ad nauseum. I'm okay. These I'm really interested in. These are the, No, I don't know if these are technically holiday, but whatever. They're some of the mini obsession palettes by Huda Beauty. Now, people are talking about how great these are, and I haven't heard a single bad review. But none of the shades were really inspiring to me until now. So, this green and this blue. I want both of those. They are beautiful. Also, this purple, maybe even that pink. Now, the oranges, I'm kind of over. Um, I thought they had the names. They're called the Precious Stones, but I think they're awesome. I think those look really cool. They're really unique um, shade selection. You could get a full look out of them with a lot of color. Everything I like, I'm about these. I would like some. And the last thing, yeah, this is the last one is the Too Faced Gingerbread Palette. Now I have a couple of the palettes in this formula or format. It's like the chocolate bar format. And I love gingerbread. Gingerbread is my favorite scent. Um, it's like very Christmassy to me. It's magical, I love it. A gingerbread eyeshadow palette, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm so here for it. Talk about Christmas in a palette. I feel like this encaptures it. Now as far as the shades, um, I like the shades as well. They're very warm tone. I feel like it's very uh, modern renaissance -y and stuff. I don't own palettes like that, honestly and truly. I'm trying to think of a war like an all warm tone palette I own. And I don't know that I do. I'm not saying that this is a unique shade selection. I'm just saying it's not something that I personally have. And it's something I'm here for. And I this will definitely be a palette that I'm buying this holiday season. So yeah, I feel like a lot of those I'm not buying. Um, some of them I am. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know... Uh, that a lot of people are doing them and I think they're really cool like I said mine totally inspired by Samantha March I think it's interesting I think it's cool to watch and see a what's new and what's out there and b what people are thinking about it so I hope you enjoyed it as always if you have any questions requests suggestions comments go ahead and leave that down below and I'll see y'all real soon bye